I am Emily O'Deal, and I am a knitter. I am the owner and designer of Art String Boutique in the heart of Hollywood. I read a magazine article that some girl learned how to knit so that she could make cheap Christmas presents. So I went and I got a three-fold page pamphlet on knitting and I bought myself a pair of needles and a ball of yarn and I taught myself to knit. And when I started knitting um, and started designing my own pieces, somebody actually said to me, these are really great, you should sell them. And I said, absolutely not. It takes so much time and effort and love and energy to make these things that I don't want to sell them. And within about two years, it was all I did was sell. Slowly after building, um, I think, my own repertoire and my own skills, somehow it started to move into the entertainment industry, specifically commercials. I've done film and television as well. I also did um, the iconic sweater in Rent for the downtown LA production. When I first moved to New York, that was the show that I waited in line for for hours and hours and hours and watched and really loved that show. So to get to be asked to make that iconic sweater 10 years later was fun for me. I was very against knitting machines. I was a pure knitter and felt that you really needed to be doing things with two needles and a knitting machine was uh, cheating. And a friend of mine was a machine knitter and she came over and brought me this knitting machine and I thought maybe I would play with it for a couple of days and stuff it in the back of the closet. We sat down for about an hour. She showed me the basic mechanics of the machine and I did not get up for a week. I was completely, utterly obsessed with this process. So many of my processes, in the early days anyway, were very intuitive. And so I just decided to start logging what it was that I was doing. You know, remember to set the tension at this number, remember to go this many rows and this many stitches. Um, so that was just a matter of keeping track of what I had already done so that I could recreate it. It is important to have a really organized system, but it's equally important to be really soft with that because many of my favorite things came about just from experimenting and seeing where the garments wanted to take themselves. I believe fully in letting the work decide what it wants to be. I need to be able to create something to the millimeter. I have a very steady hand and I am very detail oriented to the point of obsession. <laughs> I knit many, many pieces and hand wired the edges of um, each piece. I have a really specific taste in yarns and in texture. I'm kind of a texture snob. My nerdy knitter's dream come true, a floor to ceiling yarn wall. It's sort of my favorite thing in this whole place. I like the way that knit clothing looks and feels when you're wearing it and looking at the finished product. Patchwork spiderweb tank is sort of one of my signature pieces. I feel completely proud of everything, whether it's, you know, a really fancy, edgy gown, or if it's a four-headed sweater, you know, it really doesn't matter to me. I love the process. I got totally obsessed with knitting within the first week of doing it, and I could not stop. And I spent the next almost 10 years knitting every single day.